The next section of our palpation tutorial is going to be focusing on some muscles, major muscles, because there are actually hundreds within the body. But what are the ones that are important for you to know as a pet owner? So again, if we start at the top, the skull has some major muscles for chewing. The one that's on either side of the ridge in the center is called the temporalis. And then in the cheek area is the masseter. So again, you may just notice an asymmetry when you feel that it may be tender, it may atrophy revealing that bump. If your dog is having trouble chewing, it could be a muscular issue, you never know. So those are some, some muscles when it comes to the skull. Moving down into the shoulder area, there are just so many layers and layers and layers of overlapping muscles. But the ones that I pay particular attention to are the biceps on the front, triceps on the back, just like our anatomy. Biceps on the front, triceps on the back. The triceps is particularly important. It actually has four muscle bellies and is responsible for holding the dog's front end up um, when they're standing or weight bearing in any way. So sitting, jogging, running, walking, that triceps is very important. The biceps helps to flex the elbow. But again, if you feel Libby's really cut, so I can feel her biceps right here. And um, again, just orienting yourself to the muscular anatomy of the shoulder. As we go down through the forelimb, it's a lot of little muscles eventually ending in tendons. I'm gonna move up here. You have muscles on either side of the spine. That's not, the names are not that important. When it comes to the rear end, the two major muscle groups are your quadriceps on the front, just like our thigh muscle, and the hamstrings on the back, like the back of our thigh. So dogs can sprain or strain their quads and hamstrings. Their glutes, which is our rear end, are on either side of the tail. You have the glute medius and glute maximus. So again, sometimes feeling in there, you can tell if there's atrophy, especially if your dog has had a rear leg injury or is older, they'll often start to lose muscle mass in that gluteal area. And as I mentioned earlier, you always wanna feel for any sort of asymmetry. The hamstrings is really, really important for dogs. Um, big, bulky, much more than our hamstrings is. And then the quads for keeping that, that leg uh, supported in weight bearing. And finally, the muscle that I wanna point out on the back of the lower leg, up high is that calf muscle or gastrocnemius.